a, a good combination between uh, a lot of the bands that we've been listening to tonight, such as Death, and I was also thinking Possessed. But, um, damn, I forgot what I was going to say. But we've, we've been going pretty hard tonight. We've been pre- playing some, like, extra, extra heavy metal. Usually it doesn't go down like this. Usually people are like, ah, oh, Cookie Monster, ah, oh, it's too rough, too hard, the vocals are too harsh. Yeah, but tonight we're jamming. So um, I want to take a second to, uh, to, to do a new segment. Well, it's not really a new segment. We haven't done it in a while. Uh, for Metal Meltdown, but um, I like to get to know you guys, and uh, I, and I thoroughly enjoy chatting with y'all and hearing your stories. And so, as always, I want to invite y'all onto the stream, and uh, you can share with us how you got into metal. Oh shit, Beer Hound, welcome to what the stream. Man. <laughs> oh man, uh, Beer Hound's beer reviews is a another YouTuber. And he reviews beers, and he likes Testament. Actually, he is yeah. probably the one that got me into Testament. Oh, he's got a test. Is that a Testament tattoo? Yes, sir. And I think the first Testament song that I heard that you requested was um, "City of Angels." So that was the first song I heard from them, and I yeah. liked it. And from there, it went from uh, DNR to uh, Children of the Next Level, and yep. and everything else. All right, so yep. really quick. Uh, share your story, man. How did you get into metal? Where did it progress? Uh, and where are you at right now with metal? With, with okay. your taste in metal? Well, let's let's start in the beginning, I guess. We'll work our way up. Well, my dad was a Hell's Angel biker. Oh, shit. And, um, so, you know, you know, bikers and heavy metal and rock and roll go together. And um, I was like nine years old. And my dad had a car. And me and my buddy Lee were in the car, and he had an eight-track tape player in there. And so um, we popped the eight-track tape in. It was freaking uh, Black Sabbath Paranoid. All right, so it's your so your journey started with Black Sabbath. Yeah. Oh, it's that nice. was it. And um, I remember just sitting there listening to this thing, and you know, me and my buddy Lee were sitting in this hundred to twenty degree car. And, looking at each other eyes just bugged out going what is this we played that thing over and over and over and then of course after that i busted into my dad's uh, record collection oh shit and uh that's where we found uh, van halen mm. you know the first van halen and uh judas priest sad wings of destiny right 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 and uh I think I blew up at least three of his stereos with just those two albums. Yeah. So, so going uh, <laughs> into the mid '80s, what were some of the bands that you started to listen to? Because I can imagine your taste started getting more hard, harder than Black Sabbath and harder than Judas yeah. Priest. Yeah, um, I remember vividly was Scorpions, mm. Iron Maiden, Judas Priest, of course Black Sabbath. You know, Accept was there, all those guys. Yeah, yeah. Um, British Invasion. But then, and I was like 15, CDs weren't even out yet, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. I remember vividly my, my buddy Jesse came to me, and he had a cassette tape. Mm-hmm. And he was like, dude, dude, you got you to gotta hear this. You got to hear this. I said, okay, cool, right, cool. Grabbed it. Took it back in the pad, popped it in the freaking tape player. It's freaking Metallica, Ride the Lightning. Oh shit! All right, so was that that was your introduction into thrash? Yep. And honestly, dude, for 15 years after he gave me that tape, I was hooked on te- or, uh, Metallica. Oh shit! But you know what? That's, that seems to be the case for a lot of metal fans, uh, especially thrash metal fans. So guys in the chat, let me know. What Metallica uh, album put you on? What was your first Metallica album? Because essentially, it seems like everybody liked the early stuff, but then as they progressed, um, they were they kind of fell off. So, what is your favorite Metallica album? Say, Anger. Uh, mine, shoot, probably um, uh, 
Master of Puppets, dude. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, Master of Puppets just, you know, it's awesome. Actually, I'm friends with Lloyd Grant. Oh, shit. Um, he's, he's the guy that did the lead on their uh, mm. Metal Massacre demo that got them noticed. Yeah. And I did a lot of jamming with him, too. Jamming? And he, he, you, are you playing in a band? Yeah, I was in his um, band project for a while. I was doing bass for him and oh, helping, you know, doing some guitar riffage and stuff. Yeah. And, um, like, the dude, like, he really shreds, man. He's so really how did you good. get into Testament? Well, there was this station here in Orange County, California, called KNAC. Mm. Okay? It was an FM station. And this was back in the mid-90s, I think. And they played Souls of Black on the air. And I was like, whoa. That, that was it? Whoa. It was like, I was like, whoa, who is this? I was still, like, heavily <laughs> into Metallica, right? So, well, you know what? I, I would say that that would be right up your alley then. Because Early yeah. Testament sounds just like Metallica 2.0. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I think that um, they kind of rode the wave with that, and as yeah, they, that's actually. Yep. It was like as they, they progressed, uh, they kind of made their own sound. Yeah. Even Eric Pearson, the rhythm, one of the main guys, the original guy, uh, the rhythm guitarist, he literally said that when they heard Metallica, that's how they got their sound. Yeah. Right. From how they literally they didn't try to copy, ah. but that, that's the sound they wanted. Yeah. And wanted yeah. That sound. Right. Okay, but they were like me, like, you know, Black Sabbath, right. you know, all the Scorpions, all that. They were just like me, right. pretty much the same age. And uh, But, like, when they heard Metallica, that's it. That's the sound. Oh, shit. And so that's how they got their sound, is directly from, you know, Metallica changed the game. Yeah, absolutely. They, they changed the game, man, big time. I, I think um, you know? that was the thing. They, they came onto the scene, they changed the game, and they continued to change the game. And a lot of bands wanted to duplicate that success um yeah. and you know the, you can't deny that i don't care what anybody says whether they believe they suck or not you just you can't deny the impact that they made on the scene at the time so where and, where's your where's your journey now what are you listening to now uh you really want to hear i've been listening to a lot of oliver anthony actually okay. and you. uh primal fear evile mm. uh carcass and of course, Testament. Yeah. Uh, nobody has, for me, dethroned Testament yet. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, Beerhound, really quick before I let you go, if you can give a recommendation for a song to the chat, a song that they can listen to, what would it be? Testament facing the sky. All right, guys, y'all heard it. Testament facing the sky. Beerhound, thank you for joining us, and uh, keep rocking, man. Guys, we're gonna go yeah, ahead yeah. and get back to these requests. Leave your thoughts in the chat. Let us know what you think about the music that we're listening to. And uh, as Beerhound said, check out Testament Face in the Sky. Matter of fact, let's go ahead and play that. Let's go.
Yeah. <laughs> 